Good morning, Plaza Tigers. Today is September 27th. And it is Red Day. Now let's pass, pass it, it on, on over to the pledge. Hi, I'm Emma from The Incredibles. And I'm Casey from The Thunderbirds. Now it's time for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Come join the Park Hill Dance Team October 12th. Pick up a form by the office. Now it's time for Weather in the Flesh. This morning, Plaza, how you doing this morning on this kind of drippy and wet Thursday morning? We've had some rain the last couple nights, so you've waken up to some kind of wet and a little bit chilly conditions. Before we get into the weather, I got some sports for you. I want to start with the trivia question. Now, this is one of the reasons why I love baseball and I love Major League Baseball, because history could happen at any moment. And Miguel Cabrera of the Detroit Tigers is chasing some pretty big history right now. He is almost in contention for winning the Triple Crown. If you don't know what the Triple Crown is, uh, for offense, it's most homers, best average, and most runs batted in. And he leads the average category and the RBI categories, and he's only one home run shy of leading the home run category. And this hasn't happened since 1967. And my question is, who was the last one to win the Triple Crown for Major League Baseball? I'll give you a few options. Was it Mickey Mantle of those New York Yankees, Pete Rose, Albert Pujols, or Carl Yastrzemski? Shoot me those emails, Plaza, and we'll see who was the last Triple Crown winner back in 1967. All right, so speaking of baseball, my Cardinals are hanging on to that last wild card spot. Uh, they have a three and a half game lead with six to play, but they lost last night to those Astros two to nothing. The Royals, they almost won. It was a close one against Detroit. They lost five to four. Uh, NFL. Now, I'm still a little bummed out from those, those honky-tonk refs Monday night. And I don't want to talk about the game. Just know Green Bay lost 14-12. I'm still not very happy about it. Those referees, but hey, they're gone. They're gone. The, the good ones are back starting tonight, Thursday night game. The regular refs are back. No more honky-tonk calls going on in NFL. The Chiefs, they came back in dramatic fashion to prevent the Saints from winning their first game. They won 27-24 to in overtime. Some college football scores. Man, the area teams are not doing so good. MU is struggling in the uh, SEC. They lost to South Carolina 31-10. to KU lost in the fourth quarter again to Northern Illinois 30-23. to K-State, however, Mr. Reagan was wrong last Friday. <laughs> Mrs. Ivy's K-State Wildcats, and she's hooting and hollering. They beat Oklahoma 24-19 in Nebraska. Wow, they stomped Idaho State 73-7. Okay, let's get into the weather. Let's see how that weather's looking for the next few days. Well, it looks like we got some sunshine for quite a while. All the way from today through next Wednesday, nothing but sunshine. Not a drip in forecast. We're looking at upper 70s to lower 80s. Wow, that looks like a really nice fall forecast. Get outside, have some fun, do some yard work, whatever you like. All right, that's your weather. Birthdays, who we got? Connor Huey of the Legends. Happy birthday, Connor. And that Mr. Heron is celebrating, I think, a kind of a big birthday today. Um, I think he's turning 40. 30. Is it 40? <laughs> Maybe it's 30. I, I think Mr. Heron's not quite 40 yet. I think he's turning 30. So if you see Mr. Heron, uh, tell him happy birthday. Connor Huey, make sure you get your birthday pencil in the cafeteria. And where is that birthday pencil? And what is going on? Put a banana in your ear. Hmm. That is kind of interesting there. Dr. Ivy, 
I don't suggest you put a banana in your ear, but if, if you like that, um, I guess whatever floats your boat, right? Okay, that was your weather with a little sports update. Look at that lovely background there. Is that a quadricorn? Love those quadricorns. Plaza, you stay classy. Have a good one. Today's lunch is mini corn dogs with muffin. Or beer rock. Premium meal is Big Daddy hand-tossed pizza. Choir, don't forget that you have a meeting tonight after school. Intramural buses are available. Show your team spirit by wearing your team apparel on Friday. Remember to make today count. It's a great day to be a tiger. Rawr.